Here we have a variety of scat samples that I've collected out in the field. Um, according to um, historical records, thylacine poo goes white when it's dry and quite um, dog-like in appearance to a degree, but when it's fresh it has this rather smooth olive colour, sort of a grey-blue colour. That one there is the fresh one that we found the other day. Um, part of that was sent off for testing. But yeah, it has a uh, grey, smooth, toothpaste-like texture and not a lot of bone in it. Now, we find many scats out in the field and I only try and preserve the ones that seem to be really fitting that description. So, the larger the animal, obviously, the larger the poo. Um, and we have a good variety of stuff that we see out in the field. Got this tiny little scat here fresh today and there was a tiny little footprint on the um, solar panel before I cleaned it I noticed before. There's my finger. So not a real big scat but to me it looks like it's got bits and pieces of insect and stuff in it. And the little footprint was kind of cute. I think it might be a quoll turd. It's part of the um, process of trying to ascertain what animals are in the area and it's a really strange thing to have to bag up poo and take it home with you and put it in the freezer. But anyway, um, it's what we do and it's part of trying to prove this and if, if a poo gets it over the line and proves it with hair in the poo or epidermal DNA in there, then so be it. Proof is proof.